Hey guys, this is Jimmy Ingram and Kyle Lint. We lead worship at the Austin Stone, and we're going to show you how to play God Undefeatable. So Kyle, I think he has like more of the theme in the verse, and I tried to just kind of write something that would complement what he was doing. It's a little bit of a busier line, so I was thinking more of like some kind of a baritone sounding guitar part. This is what I play. My part on the verse um, is pretty intricate with a delay. I actually use a reverse delay, so it's real important to set that at the right tempo, which we do um, 79. And so what I play there is up really high in the 13th and 15th fret range. <coughs> and I play, it's a major 7th chord, the B major 7th chord, and then an E with a sharp 5th, uh, flat 5th, sorry. So what, it, what I do is this. Then on the pre-chorus, I'm just playing whole notes basically, and I'll show you those changes here really quick. And then on the uh, pre-chorus, I'm playing um, just ones as well, kind of just diamonds, and I play them up a little bit higher, so I play them like this, still with the reverse delay. Also on those verses in that pre-chorus, I did have a tremolo with just a quarter note delay on. Um, so on, I'll show you the chorus part now. It's really simple. It's just kind of a tremolo picking, doing double stops. Um, the first time I do this chorus, I'll play on the neck pickup so it doesn't stand out quite as much because the drums aren't very big there. And then later on in the song, uh, I'll just flip it to the bridge pickup and turn another overdrive on to just make it more aggressive. So I'll just show you how I play that, just kind of in the broken down part, and then you can do the rest of that later when you get to the chorus. I'm playing just um, kind of kind of double stops just as I alternate between the chords as little as possible um, and the only difference is the very last chorus of the song um, I just play straight eighth notes but the rest of it I pick through like this usually on your bridge pickup <laughs> Slide up high. So I'll show you the turn after the chorus now. There's actually two of these turns in the song and they're both different. And I'll go ahead and just show both of them to you right now. Uh, the first one goes from B to E. I wanted to make it really dissonant so I'm playing 
um, just notes that are a half step apart on this B chord. So I'm playing a B and a B flat, and then I just go to an E chord here. So here's how this first one is. Then the next one after the following chorus will be E to F sharp. And that goes like this. Turns. Um, I'll go ahead and show you both turns that I do as well. The first one, and I guess the very last one of the song, I just play um, just an octave B note, and I do it with this uh, Pog, this octave generator. So the first one is like this. The second one that goes from uh, 4 to 5, E to F sharp, um, I just change it up just a little bit. So I go like this. So lastly, I'm going to show you the bridge section. I'm, I sit out the first half of it and then I'll come in as Kyle shifts up higher on the neck. So here's what I'm doing over that. there I'm kind of low for the first half and then I slide way up high for the second half and turn on the uh, pog there so my bridge looks like this and I'll start on the uh, start on the neck pickup and switch it down to the bridge pickup in the second half <laughs> That's all for God Undefeatable.